Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, April 27, 2009. This morning I'd like to pick up with this little search application I've been demonstrating and add a little graphics to it. And the way we're going to do this is through file libraries. So here's the way this looks now. What I want to do is put a graphic up here with this title. So to do that, let's first import a file library. To do that, we need to go to New, File Library right here. Now let's give it a name. We'll call this Search File library. Hit OK. So rather than have to write workspace code to import the files, what I do is I go to this convenient interface under files, hit browse, and then I go to the file system and I look for the directory I want to find my images in, which in this case I threw some things into this directory called files. And I experimented a little bit with some images and gave this one a transparent background. So let's import that in. And you see I do browse and then add. Now that's in there, so if I click this, there it is, it comes right up. So let's close that, and now what I want to do is go back to the source code. So let's pick Media List UI, and I want to modify my code to actually include that. Now the first thing you might want to ask is, how does this header up here where the title is happening right now get laid down? Well, I go up here, go to Visibility, I'm going to look at Generic Collection UI, and what I want to do is look for something that looks like it's rendering the page top or the page header. So let's go and see if I can find anything that looks like that. Render page navigation. So I don't find it here. Let's go to visibility, generic UI. Go one more level up. And we find here, render page header on. So we look at this. And you see that this thing just puts out a heading level 3 with the title. So that's what I want to override. So what I want to do is come in here and change this to something more useful. So what I'm going to do is put in some more useful code there. Now you see what I'm doing here is putting out two divs. A left column with rendering the image and a right column with the title. So let's go ahead and add that method. So there they are. To put the title out I just changed it to a level 1 heading with the title and the image is just the image and this is how you use image tags in Seaside. I give it the URL and it's going to look like this. If I wanted to change this at runtime to an URL on the file system served by something like Apache, it's as easy as tossing a string here. For now I'm going to use the file library. Now there's one last thing to do. You notice that I've got a reference up here to styling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a style method. Let's drop the visibility back down so we don't have quite so much to look at. And I'll add a style method. So let's go into public. So for styling, I can just add this right in here. So I'm adding a couple of IDs, a left column and a right column, and giving them some properties. And now let's see how that looks when I browse this. So let's go back over here, and I'll just do a refresh. And once I've done that, you see I've got my image over here, and here I've got my title. So I've customized this to have a custom image over here on the left, so that it looks kind of like a search application. And then I've made this instead of a level 3 heading, a level 1 heading. And I've been able to change the way my baseline page looks just by adding a little bit of styling and a file library. And again, with the file library, in order to change that at runtime, all I really need to do is go into this render our image on method and change this from this file library reference to something referring specifically to the file system. And at runtime, it'll trigger usage of Apache, IIS, or what have you, instead of serving it straight out of the Smalltalk image. But for development, this is a quick and easy way of adding files in and, again, letting other people look at it without having to ship them a whole bunch of stuff to get configured. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.